Hey guys, NTS Fan 001 here for the road to my 528th and 529th Platinum Trophies. Today's games are Our Church and Halloween Stories 3 and 4. So you're actually going to get to see a little bit of gameplay this time, a little bit more than the other ones. So this is another very, very quick and easy Platinum Trophy from the Breakthrough Arcade Gaming people. Uh, there's not too much to worry about with this one. It's a very straightforward game. You just have to complete the game. You have to defeat all the ghosts. There is a missable or a couple of missable trophies for you have to eat an apple in combat, which you'll probably end up doing naturally at some point because it does, because it heals you up 100 points. So you're going to have to do that at some point, and you are also going to have to defeat all the ghosts, like I said. And you're going to have to have four apples in your inventory at once, which is going to have to be done pretty early in the game when you get two extras. Otherwise, you just have to complete the game, and then you have to complete the game in a certain amount of time. So you can actually get your timer on screen by hitting L2 and R2 together. But thankfully... Oh, I don't know what that beep was. But thankfully, just like with the second game, you can actually cheese this by using a password that puts you right in front of the final battle. Uh, it's in Bad Driver's Guide, so I just suggest following his guide. Uh, I still don't really understand what's going on in these games, but at least they're getting better and they're more RPG-esque. I don't know what the fourth one's going to be like, but as far as I know, the fourth one is supposed to be the last one. We're going to skip through all this dialogue and might actually get a slightly decent length video this time around. And there's our final trophy. Get the Platinum Trophy to unlock. So, with this Platinum Trophy, this is story, this is story, this is story, story. Uh, you have to eat an apple during a battle, like I said, which is... You're probably going to want to do it at some point because it heals you and you do take damage over time because there's no real, like, defensive mechanisms or anything. It's the most bare-bones RPG out there. You have to use a slingshot in battle, which is unmissable. That's the only way to even attack the enemies. Acquiring four apples at once, you can't use any apples until after you beat the boss ghost because at that point you'll get two more, so you'll have four. Then you have uh, a couple more story-related trophies. Defeat all the ghosts, of which there's about, I think, 16 or so in the game this time around. So it's about the same as the previous one, maybe a little less. And you have to complete the game within a target time, which, like I said, you just use the whole passcode trick. So with this game, it looks like it took me a little over 20 minutes, 22 minutes, but you can certainly do it faster. Though I'm not sure if you can do it significantly faster than that. So... Level 735, 33%, 20,928 total trophies, 528 platinums, 3,149 golds, 5,652 silvers, 11,599 bronzes. So I will be back here in just a few moments with the second half of the video. And now we're back for platinum trophy number 529. This is, of course, story four, and as far as I know, it is the final story in this little series, Our Church and Halloween. I still don't really exactly know what was going on, but of course it wasn't easy. Uh, am I, I'm supposed to do something else, aren't I? Yep, I gotta go move the steering wheel. There we go, there's our last trophy. So the final game is a little bit different on the trophies. I say a little bit different, it's not much different. It still has the passcode system, but this time around there are no trophies related to beating the game in a certain amount of time, so no speedruns this time around. In fact, almost every trophy is going to be story related this time around. Well, I say that, but I don't know if that's entirely true or not. But you have these first three trophies are all story related, and I got these a little bit out of order because that's what Bad Driver's Guy did, so this was actually my first trophy. So it took me... Looks like 25 minutes exactly to get this Platinum Trophy. You can't do this one that much faster, though, because, I mean, I could have cut down a minute or two, probably, but you can't do it a whole lot faster because you have to fight every single enemy once again. And there are quite a few in this game. Like, there's, I think, over 20 of them this time around, so there are quite a few enemies. Acquiring five apples at once, if you use Bad Driver's Guide, you'll plug in a passcode to knock this out very early in the game. Actually, I think this was my first trophy, and then this came... Well, no, I think they were earned at the same time. 
And then you have more story-related trophies through here. And then you have to defeat all the... Go Actually, no, this one's story-related as well. So everything through here, then, is story-related with the exception of the five apples at once. And then you have to defeat every single ghost in the game, of which there are over 20 this time around. So there are quite a few, and that's what sort of extends the time on this Platinum just a little bit. But overall, it's yet another quick and easy Platinum Trophy. I mean, each of these games is either, like... Everything except for the second one is a 2 out of 10 that takes around 20 to 30 minutes. Whereas part 2 or story 2 only takes about 10 minutes and it's basically a 1 out of 10. So it's definitely the easiest of the 4. So let's go ahead and sync up our trophies here. Level 735, 81%, 20,940 total trophies, 529 platinums, 3,160 golds, 5,652 silvers, 11,599 bronzes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.